Humps, hum, hum, humps. That's not the words, but um, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Who's honking like that? Who is that? Oh, is that Carrie? Get her in the video. Get her in the video. <laughs> Woo, look at that timing. Look at that timing. I'm leaving. She's coming. Anyway, it's your friend Keith Chate. Sergey Power! Crazy Keith, Mr. Free Everything, coming to you on this gorgeous Wednesday afternoon. Just got mine into the gym. Got uh, the thighs, inner and outer thighs. Karen got me on the thigh machine. Now I know what I'm doing with that. I did uh, cardio and I did hamstrings. Just a little bit. Oh, I saw her come flying through. That's good. That's good. So anyway, it is Wednesday. It's hump day. It's the middle of work week. Getting you over that hump. Getting you a little bit closer to Friday. Friday. Woo. Listen, everybody, everybody, every day could be like Friday afternoon. If you go out there and work for it. If you go out there and take some action in your life. Hey, baby. Mm. Want to say hi? No. There's I her head. With, she don't want to say hi. I did with my horn. Oh, that was her saying hi by honking at the honking with her horn. <laughs> Have fun. Goodbye. I gotta go home and get a shower. Um, anyway, you just gotta go out there and do it, my friends. Listen, if somebody offers you an amazing option, an amazing opportunity, an amazing solution to your problems, you got things you need help with, take a look at it. Why would you not take a look at it? Since I've been home from Nashville, Tennessee, I've been so pumped up. I've sent messages to people that I don't even know that well. And guess what? Almost every one of them has responded saying, absolutely, I'm open to options. I'm open to taking a look. Shoot me over some, some information. Let me see what you got going on. That's all it takes, my friends. It's just the open-mindedness to take a look at some information and then, you know, ask some questions. If you're not sure about it or you don't understand something, and if you hate it, you hate it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. No big deal. Tell the person that sent you the information that's not for you. They're not going to harass you if you say it's not for you. But if you don't respond with a, an answer after you see the information one way or the other, of course they're going to come back and ask you again. It's not being pushy. It's being persistent. That's how it works in business. Anyway, my friends, go out there and get it. I got something good for you, but you got to answer. You got to talk to me. Go get it, my friends. We'll see you soon. Hey, -ya! Go get it.